Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the first what to watch of the new year. I'm all Milan. Slatan is here. Slatan is here. Slatan will play. We'll watch him, but let's see what else is there to watch. Uh, first things first, there is on Saturday a long round of FA Cup ties. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go into this. The FA Cup I will get to when it's in the latter rounds, let's say quarterfinal or something like that. But yeah, let's see what's on the menu. And uh, we start in La Liga, which start actually on Friday uh, with a late game Sevilla against Athletic Club. That could be an interesting one. Um, Saturday, Valencia, Eva, yeah. Getafe, Real Madrid, I think is a nice one. Um, Espanyol Barcelona, we have a Barcelona derby. We will have many derbies here uh, in this uh, show. So I think the Saturday evening Espanyol against Barcelona is one that I look forward to. It's Atletico Madrid, Levante could be an interesting one too, I think. But let's see. Um, on Sunday, yeah, it's Real Sociedad via Real. I mean, there, yeah, there could be goals in that. In, in that, other than that, yeah, we have to see how things are going. Um, we also have, um, right after the break, but I'll pull it on there, the um, League Cup semi-finals, the first legs, we have a Manchester derby, uh, which definitely looks to be interesting. So I just want to pull it in there. There are some League Cup ties. Uh, if you're in interested, I probably won't be watching. I'm Honestly, the League Cup is not one of mine, but I wanted to pull it in this video. But then Serie A, who actually plays Sunday and Monday, and uh, there, there's a reason that Monday is all is the, um, uh, yeah, the day of the three wise men coming. I don't know. There's probably an English word for that. Um, so that is a traditional start of the Serie A season. But now they make it Sunday, Monday. Uh, we start with Brescia, Lazio, which should be an easy win for Lazio. I think the game to watch on Sunday in the evening is Roma Torino. Uh, I think that definitely. Uh, promises something as also kind of a local tower between Spal and Hellas, uh, you know, Ferrara, Verona, not too far away from each other. Bologna, Fiorentina is another, I don't want to say derby, it's the Eppening derby. I mean, they are both um, opposite ends of the um, Autostrada through the Eppening Mountains. Um, Atalanta, Parma, I think that's a very interesting one, but I will be watching Milan Sampdoria because Latan is back. I don't know, I should... I'm actually quite excited by it, although I know he is an old player, but I think he can provide the finishing touch that Milan needs. The one thing I know about Zlatan is that he can score goals and athletically is in really good shape. Do you expect miracles? No. But I expect that he it might drag Milan into the Europa League next year. Uh, that could happen. I think if he scores uh, around 10 goals, I'd be happy. To be honest, Juve Color is a top of the table clash. So I think there is already Monday. Those those three matches on Monday are all very in interesting. I think Juve Color might be even the most interesting one of those. Let you on the day is a little bit of a letdown, and then a big clash, Napoli Inter. That is one, guys. Watch that one. I think this will be a really good one. Um, I'm looking forward to that one. Probably that the that's going to most uh, look forward to it this weekend. We also have games in Portugal, which already start on Saturday, but the big one that I want to point out is, of course, Porto against Porto on Sunday at 6.30. Uh, that is a classic in Port Portuguese soccer, so always, uh, that might be worth watching. Guimarães against Benfica doesn't sound too bad either. Uh, and Family Chaos at Tubal, maybe, who knows. Um, also games, and that's where we finish, uh, in Greece, where we again have two big derbies. First, the uh, uh, Saloniki derby, the Saloniki derby, Aris against Pauk, big matchup, absolutely humongous matchup there. Uh, kind of a win that Pauk almost has to get. Um, and then on Sunday, at the same time, 6.30, we have Olympiakos against Panathinaikos, which is another really huge derby. Um, I think it will be a relatively easy win for Olympiakos, but that's one of the big clashes in Greece. So um, those are playing as well. And uh, in interestingly, of the leagues that I decided to follow, those are the leagues that are really uh, playing now, uh, right after the new year. The Premier League takes a break. FA Cup and League Cup, as I said. But we had a lot of action there as well. Anyway, let me know what you'll be watching. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this preview. Let me know what you think about Slatan being back.
as a Milan fan. I know it sounds desperate, but I'm a little bit excited. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I will talk to you soon about all these games. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.